a natural aquarium is the same thing as a natural garden. A garden contains soil, nutrients, and grows plants. A natural aquarium contains soil, nutrients, and grows plants. Well, hello. Come right on in. You're at Father Fish. A natural aquarium is not, by definition, a high-tech aquarium. A high-tech aquarium is not, by definition, a natural aquarium. If you have a natural aquarium that is an inch of gravel and some plastic plants, you are fooling yourself into believing anything that you're doing is natural. It is not. A natural aquarium is the same thing as a natural garden. A garden contains soil, contains nutrients, and grows plants. A natural aquarium contains soil, contains nutrients, and grows plants. What do you do if you want to start a garden? Well, you start with a plot of land, a fish tank. You prepare the soil, the substrate in the tank. You plant seeds, or in the case of an aquarium, some cuttings, plants, or seeds. What's the very best thing you can put in a garden? Table scraps, particularly vegetable scraps. You can put humic material, that's leaves, other broken down vegetable matter, turn that over in the soil, identical the same with an aquarium. The more humic material you have, the richer the compost, the richer the substrate. Now, I recommend setting up this system with a supplement. I create supplement by adding a number of minerals and compounds that I add to humic material such as peat moss and potting soil. No more, however, than one inch. The most important single characteristic of a natural aquarium, if it is going to be a healthy aquarium and a balanced aquarium, is for the water to contain as little dissolved material as possible. In other words, you want the water to be clear. To do that, you don't need to do water changes. You need to have several inches of sand that allows all of that particulate matter to sift down into the sand through the sand into the deeper substrate where there is adequate humic material to be able to break down waste. If you start with one inch of soil, cap it with two inches of sand. Think garden. You want to put plants in the tank right away, but do not bury them so deeply that they are down in the dirt. The roots will burn up in a new tank. It will not be successful. Let them find nutrition. They're very good at it. Think garden. There's one more thing you can do to make this a genuinely natural balanced aquarium, and that is to add humic material, a specific kind of humic material namely the leaves from trees that have fallen into ponds or creeks or other bodies of water and begun to deteriorate. They contain fungus, bacteria, microfauna, 
and the backwards are, as well as microbiology and the bacteriology. All of that adds to the dynamic of life in the system. Now, you want to put this in fairly, fairly reasonable amounts, a handful of leaves at a time. Lay that material in the tank and let it provide the nutrition that the microfauna, the bacteria, and the fungus need in order for them to be able to thrive. That then forms the foundation for a food web. The food web is the key element in being able to keep very small fish and very large microfauna, such as shrimp and snakes, alive and thriving in the tank. You will also find that very small fish like scarlet batis, the Elisoma pygmy sunfish, many small tetras will work in that humic material and find food, find sustenance. They will be enriched by this. They'll become engorged by it and they will begin spawning. And as the baby fish hatch, they'll find food as well and will be thriving in that substrate material. So here's the foundation now for a genuinely natural aquarium. As to things like lighting, I max out light. I leave light on in the tank as long as possible. In the new tank, I'll leave the light on 24-7 for months until the tank finally really begins to take hold of the eyes. As to filtration, Filtration is not key, but I like to use sponge filters. It helps to promote an active biological system. It's, it's a way for the water to be able to flow at a very gentle rate. It's a way for nutrients to break down and provide an environment for the microfauna to be able to feed. In time, you can take that swan salt around. I find early on, it's really quite helpful. It'll also pick up whatever dust particulate matter is floating around in the water column and, and keep that water crystal clear. So there's a formula for a natural environment that is as low tech as it's possible to get and as natural as it's possible to be. So think of your natural aquarium as a garden. If you have not tried this, I strongly recommend you do so. It will be, I guarantee, the very best aquarium you will have ever kept. And you will be delighted. Catch up with us on our Discord channel to learn more about this and, and to, to do problem solving. There are always little things that come up, little tweaks, things that happen that, uh, that you may need some advice with. Join us there. You'll find the link below. Have a lovely day. Keep it dirted. Keep it simple. And keep it natural. Bye for now.